Hello, I am Professor S. Shankaran in the Department of Metallurgical and Materials Engineering. I am going to talk about the new course which I am going to offer in the NPTEL platform with the title Mechanical Behavior of Materials. It is a 12 week course and uh, the kind of audience or the students who can take up this course, I will talk about it in a minute. And what you can see in the slide is my address. I am a professor in Department of Metallurgical and Materials Engineering and this is my email address. So what is this course about? Uh, what you are seeing in this display is uh, a different kind of material which all of you might have come across in everyday life. What you see is this is uh, a plastic a tube, small kind of tube. This is an, an eraser and this is a a foam material, a kind of cork and this is a chalk and this is a, a glass plate and this is a metal strip and this is a small a wooden stick. What I am going to do now is, I am just going to take each one of them and trying to apply some force on it, namely I will try to do a bending. You just observe what happens. I take this wooden stick and then I bend it, then it breaks like this. Okay. Now I will do the same operation on this metal strip. I take this metal strip, I apply a bending force, then it does not break like that but it is just bending like this and then it stays like that, it, nothing happened to that. On the other hand, if I take this a glass strip and then try to bend it, it shatters, right. So it is entirely different behavior from the, the previous material. This is the fourth one, this is a chalk piece, I try to apply this bending force it just becomes perfectly two. If I take the cork material and try to do the same bending operation, it bends but it try to come back to its original position, try to recover its position. Still it retains little bit of uh, that bent in it, right. And now this is a rubber, I try to apply the bending force, it bends and it comes back to its original position pretty fast compared to the, the previous cork, right. Now it is almost become straight. Now the last one, if I take this small stick, if I apply a bending force, it is pretty tough but then it slowly try to come back to its original position. Well, what you now observe from all this, if you, you can actually categorize these materials into a different class of materials and what you have observed is even though I applied a similar bending force on the same material, each one responded very differently, right. And this is what we are going to discuss in detail in this course. As you have seen in that video, I have displayed a number of materials and it is response to the applied forces. So if you look at what is this course, it is mechanical behavior of materials is the area of knowledge which deals with the behavior and response of materials to applied forces. To some it will mean mechanical properties of materials or mechanical testing, other may consider the field restricted to the plastic working and shape of materials while still other confine their interest to the more theoretical aspects of the field which merge with metal physics and physical metallurgy. Some may even consider that this subject is closely allied with applied mathematics and applied mechanics. So you see that the course is in diverse in nature, it is going to cover a lot of subjects together under one umbrella. Hence the course will start with a continuum description of stress and strain elementary treatment of elasticity, 
viscoelasticity and this background will be extended to the defect mechanisms of flow and fracture criteria of materials, theories of yielding and introduction to the concept of plasticity. The course will examine the macroscopic and microscopic aspects of the mechanical behavior of metals, ceramics, polymers and their composites, electronic materials and biomaterials. The unifying thread running throughout is that the nano structure or microstructure of a material controls its mechanical behavior. The properties are controlled by basic structural defects common to all classes of crystalline solids. Imperfections, fracture and fracture toughness are all essential to the understanding of mechanical behavior of materials. The concept of dislocation is used throughout this course to provide a qualitative explanation for such a phenomenon as strain hardening, the yield point, dispersed phase hardening. Emphasis also given to the application of fracture mechanics and material science principles toward the understanding of material stiffness, strength, toughness, fatigue and time dependent mechanical response. The field of fracture mechanics has grown significantly and matured to a level to technical sophistication and engineering usefulness. The course will further introduce mechanical testing, interpretation of tests and on the effect of metallurgical variables on mechanical behavior rather than on the procedures for conducting the tests and metalworking processes. So, a balanced mechanics materials approach is aimed at the course content so that large number of students with a diverse background can benefit from it. So, who are all the prospective students for this course? As I just mentioned in the beginning, the course is suitable for advanced undergraduate and first level postgraduate courses in metallurgy, materials, mechanical, civil, chemical, aeronautical and marine engineering curriculum as well as for practicing engineers in the industry. There will be a great diversity in the material covered in order to be useful to students from diverse background. Designing machines, vehicles and structures that are safe, reliable and economical requires both efficient use of materials and assurance that structural failure will not occur. It is therefore appropriate for undergraduate engineering majors to study the mechanical behavior of materials, specifically such topics as deformation, fracture and fatigue and so on. Another purpose is to acquaint metallurgical and materials engineers with the mathematical language encountered in some areas of mechanical metallurgy. So what are the prerequisites? I would emphasize there is no specific prerequisite required for this course because what I see uh, in my experience, the people with materials background and mechanical engineering background or other allied field of engineering, they have strength in their own subject, but they do not have the adequate knowledge or a balanced knowledge of materials and mechanics together. So one of the primary aim of this course is to incorporate or bring in such a balance in the course content so that a diverse uh, backgrounds, I mean students with a diverse background can benefit out of it. However, I would just, just indicate a students with elementary mechanics of knowledge of elementary mechanics of materials also called strength of materials or mechanics of deformable bodies provides an introduction to subject of analyzing stresses and strains in engineering components such as beams, shafts for linear elastic behavior. If somebody has this kind of an already a background, then for them this course will be a much more enjoyable and interesting. Thank you.